Hey YouTubers, it's Chris from Gravy here. Today's segment is going to be on how to sell your business. And in fact, how to set up your e-commerce business so that it will sell effectively. Now, it's important to do a few things um, when you set up your Shopify store or your WooCommerce store or whatever platform you're using for e-commerce. Um, you always should do a number of things to make sure that down the road when you're ready to sell you have tracking and analytics starting with Google Analytics which is very important um, most platforms if you're selling on flippa.com for example or uh, Empire uh, Empire um, flippers or other brokerage uh, brokerage companies that will sell your business they'll always ask for your analytics account um, and it's sort of the uh, the effective the, the effectively the standard for tracking uh, traffic so like if you're in Shopify for example um, you can go under online store and preferences and you add in your ID it's a UA ID um, under Google Analytics there's a, an account number that you get for your Google Analytics account and you should add that um, to your Shopify store. There's also uh, you you have plugins in WordPress for uh, WooCommerce and uh, BigCommerce and other other platforms. But especially if you're drop shipping and you're you're trying to sell a drop shipping business, they often are. Uh, it's very important that buyers are often interested in your traffic and uh, your volume and your conversion rates so you really need to have google analytics installed and it's quite simple not only that um you know when you're in uh, shopify you of course should be tracking conversions as well so um there's the online store there's preferences but you really need to have your um you go into settings and have your Google conversion tracking enabled and you would do that in the checkout area of settings um, for Shopify for example really critical that you're tracking conversions so that you can get a cost per conversion that's what buyers want to see um, and so you, there's a tag halfway down additional scripts you would put in the Google site tag and uh, you would set that up in Google um, Google on the Google side in Google either Google AdWords um, or in Google Analytics itself but it's that one is for you you get it through Google AdWords I'm not going to go into the details of that but just know that you need Google Analytics tag and you need conversion tracking tags for selling your business and also these are of course critical things for running your business but um, make sure you do that another thing you know with uh, with Shopify you can you can load your cost of goods sold into your products and um, that's a really smart thing to do so that you can track profitability when you're selling a business and I've sold a number of them um, in the past I've sold about five businesses software and or um, e-commerce related they always buyers always look for details on your your margins they don't just want to see your top line revenue even though everyone in Shopify world seems to just quote revenue well that's a very small piece of the story and uh, buyers are interested in your your you know your pre-tax revenue or sorry your pre-tax profit and um, then your, your profit after all expenses and fixed costs as well so you need to have those numbers at the handy another thing is um, trademark early trademarks take in Canada right now they they take about two years and um, they're really easy to set up um, you can go to in Canada CEPO uh, is the organization um, and the CEPO Canadian government CEPO office I can't remember what that stands for but it's something about uh, Canadian Institute for Privacy and something something but anyway it's um, you, you like if you sell on Amazon you'll get brand registered with Amazon if you have a trademark and it it'll increase your sales 40% um, they give you a whole page versus a small listing page so having a trademark 
for e-commerce is huge, and it also uh, defends your defends your product against competitors. Um, so do that for the country that you live in, and at least, and you you can go beyond that and uh, look at other country uh, trademarks as well if if you're um, selling in other countries. Um, just consider a corporation. It's a lot easier to sell a corporation versus a sole proprietorship or even a partnership. So, or there's also LLC, limited liability corporation, or there's other other variations depending where you are. But find a, an entity type um, that you can uh, remove liability from the owners, and uh, it's an entity unto itself, and it'll be more saleable. Um, the other thing is branding polish kind of goes without saying, you know, hopefully you're spending a designer on your logo and you're, you know, you're not just doing it yourself. At least go to Fiverr.com or, you know, somebody in Upwork. Um, I use both. They are so many freelancers that are really good that will do a polished job and even get them to upgrade your, your homepage and your look and feel of your template for Shopify, for example. Um, very cheap to do. And you need to have polished, you know, a polished site. You need to have all the, you know, the front page of your home page. You need to have it all polished up. You need to have, you know, your your logo polished. Everything aligns. It needs to go in mobile. The mobile um, browser needs to work. Um, everything needs to stack. You need to have all the, the images the same size. Everything's clean, no bugs. So those are things, um, you know, for selling. You, you can't have any errors you have to have it degrade perfectly on mobile because um, that's these days where 50 to 60 percent of sales are going for lower ticket items anyway and even higher tickets that's where research happens how much how much how much are you going to sell for well shopify has a great app it's on their, their exchange app and they will actually price your shopify store for you and um, that's why shopify the exchange marketplace i'm not going to go in there um, in detail but they will price your store based on your revenue and based on what you put in as your income um, from the revenue and your your margins and it's a very good way i get a lot of uh, people contacting me through that app the exchange app just asking questions about my various businesses and um yeah what's realistic you know People think, oh, okay, so the price of your business typically is, you know, take the the monthly profit, net profit, and multiply it by 12 months, and so that's a year's a year's earning or annual earnings. And they talk in terms of pricing your business at one times annual earnings or up to like three times, four times annual earnings. Well, if you've just started a Shopify store or a drop shipping business or an e-commerce business. Um, and it's like a year or two old, um, they will, you know, the brokers or even Shopify will, will value it closer to not more than probably one or one and a half times earnings. If you have an established store that's over two or three years old and it's a corporation and you, you've got actual, maybe beyond drop shipping, you've got a private label, and then you're talking three times earnings possibility maybe four um, you've got employees don't expect your one-year-old drop ship business you know will do more than one times earnings or is worth more than one times earnings realistically it's it's not it's really not and um, you know there are starter sites on flippa um, and I, I have used flippa um, and there are starter sites that people sell but they're not worth very much they're worth like couple of months revenue not an annual revenue and uh, flip is great and some things that I found out even if you the auctions are great and they have a huge flip is based in Australia they they have a huge newsletter list several, several hundred thousand potential buyers and um, if you list with them they are they have a, a listing fee it's like I think it's a around fifty to a hundred dollars but Definitely go for their premium package, and uh, it's I think $250 US currently, but it changes. They blast out an email to all their buyers. They promote you on their site, and it's well worth the money in terms of ROI when you sell a business. It could be the difference between selling a business 
um, or not, and and or even doubling your money if you use their promotions is all I'm saying. The other thing is if, if you have an auction and there's lots of lots to know about selling on auction, um, you know, you have a reserve price, which is you know the minimum price that you're gonna accept. You have a buy now price and um, which is somebody can buy immediately and you know and and then you have a you know the starting price for bids so there's lots of strategies they won't go into that in detail but um one strategy is if you have a smaller site you know setting the starting bid low at a dollar and have no reserve price or have the reserve price a dollar and if you get the more bidding activity, the better. So Flip Up gives you uh, a listing on their most active on their homepage, um, and and it shows there's sponsored listings, um, but it shows the most active uh, auctions on their homepage, and that gets you a ton of traffic and a ton of new buyers. So that's just a little pro tip. The other pro tip for you is. Um, you think, oh no, I'm not gonna, you know, if I set your reserve too high and you don't, you don't sell your business. Well, even on Flippa, they they love you to, um, they love you to, obviously sell on on their site. They have an escrow service too, so that you know they make the the transition very easy. The, you know, the buyer puts the money into escrow. You trade assets and send them to the to the to the new buyer, and then once the buyer is happy once you're happy then the exchange happens and flipa releases the money through the escrow back to you so that is definitely you know a plus um with security and um not losing your money or not losing your business um having a third party and flip is great there's also escrow services with escrow.com you can use separately but what I was going to say is the pro tip is um, not only using escrow is um, is uh, and I'll just put that down. Escrow is key. Um, is if your auction doesn't sell, if you don't find a buyer, um, wait about a couple of days to a week, and I will bet you a, a dozen donuts because I'm Canadian and I like donuts um, that you will have a couple of buyers that will contact you afterwards and make you either an offer or um, ask you more questions about your business. So anybody that's bid on your auction is a potential buyer and you can go back through the bidding list um, of, of buyers or of, you know potential buyers and uh, talk to them. So your deal is not dead if your auction's over and that's a big thing to remember. You You often can get more activity afterwards even if it's maybe not for as much money as you thought, you, you can still sell your business. And again, Flippa, they make their money on you spending listing fees with them. Um, they make a bit of money on the, the escrow, but um, it's still worth their while to have you connected with buyers of businesses. And, um, and you know, you should also, I, I do recommend escrow, but um, you can always, talk to buyers separately after an auction's over and you're not obligated to go through Flippa. So I'm just leaving that out there. Um, even though they'd like you to, it's not, it's not an obligation. So there you go. Those are some, uh, some tips on getting your, getting your business ready to sell and, um, and making it saleable. Google analytics, do that early. Um, the more data on your site, the better polish it up. Trademarks, um, Make sure that uh, usability is really smooth with mobile. Um, again, these days, if it doesn't look good on mobile, it's not it's not going to look good, and people are, you know, people are not going to buy your business if you haven't thought about mobile as well as uh, desktop users. So, hope that helps. And leave any comments um, in, uh, in in the comment section or uh, requests for other videos are always welcome. Thanks for watching.